Well, as you mentioned, Nick, we're getting reports from activists about more developments inside Damascus, chief amongst them, uh, one that we cannot uh, really confirm at this time because there are so few details, is uh, re regards an explosion in the 4th Armored Division in Damascus, which is close to the presidential palace and is headed by President Bashar al-Assad's brother, Maher al-Assad. Um, uh, there are very few details, as I mentioned, but uh, this armored division is a very important one. It's sophisticated. It is in charge of uh, special operations as well and very feared by uh, people in Syria. Now, we're also hearing of a very heavy deployment of presidential guards in al Amawiyin Square in Damascus following this explosion. As well, we heard unconfirmed reports from activists uh, that the Free Syrian Army, the armed opposition, was uh, able to attack a uh, government helicopter in uh, the neighborhood of Jobar in Damascus. Uh, but we, it is unclear whether uh, the Free Syrian Army was able to bring it down. So this is all happening inside Damascus at this time. Now, as far as the Syrian opposition is concerned, uh, they're considering today's attack a, a very serious blow to the Syrian government, the actually first serious blow to the Syrian government. And they're even considering the death of uh, uh, Asif Shoket, the deputy uh, defense minister and brother-in-law uh, uh, of Bashar al-Assad, more significant than the deaths of the defense minister himself and the interior minister. That's because Asif Shoket, as a relative uh, to Bashar al-Assad, who is married to Bashar, his uh, older sister, Bushra al-Assad, enjoys a lot of uh, power inside Syria and is very close to the government and activists say uh, is in charge of many of the uh, military operations uh, that uh, uh, are involved in the crackdown uh, against protesters in Syria since the start of the uprising. So certainly opposition activists consider these deaths and especially the death of Asif Shoket very significant. And Nizreen, any response from the Jordanian government at this point? Not really, and not yet. I think it's... Uh it's a bit too early, and I think the Jordanian government has been very worried in the last 16 months about what it says, uh, uh, you know, what it says in terms of comments uh, on Syria. Uh, it is very close to Syria. It's receiving the bulk of Syrian refugees who are fleeing uh, to Jordan right now. There are over 150,000 Syrian refugees in Jordan, and Jordan is very scared of uh, any kind of escalation with Syria due to the proximity. It knows that that Syria has a lot of uh, 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 warehouses where it uh, stores chemical and biological weapons, especially in the south, yeah. which is very close to the northern border. So it is very afraid of commenting or giving its opinion on what is happening inside Syria, especially that Jordan may suffer uh, from more unrest and more protests locally. Nizreen, thanks very much indeed. Uh, Nizreen El-Shamayla uh, reporting there from Amman in Jordan.